people, destroyed her culture, raped her resources, dominated her land. And the former British colonies of Africa are paying reparations to the British crown. How in the hell is that even possible? How in the hell is that even possible? And we want to turn around and honor the woman who sits on the throne of global white supremacy. Honor the woman who is the face and the figure and the force behind global African oppression right now. The British Empire controlled 25% of the world's people in 1914. The British Empire controlled 25% of the land and resources of the entire earth by 1920. And we got the audacity to act like this woman was some sort of blessing to African people. Let me say this. A historically ignorant people have no right to be free. A historically ignorant people have no right to be respected. A historically ignorant people have no right to independence. Are we going to laugh at our ancestors' pain like that? Are we going to turn a blind eye to the millions of black women who were raped by soldiers of the British Army? Are we going to act like we don't know that they castrated black men, forced them to be slaves on their own island, sent tens of millions of us into slavery, into foreign land? And we want to stand here and celebrate the Platinum Jubilee? of a white woman who represents the face of British imperialism and global white supremacy, brothers and sisters, come on. Brothers and sisters, come on. And let's not even talk about the oppression of our brothers and sisters in the United Kingdom. Let's not even talk about the unemployment in the United Kingdom for black people. Let's not talk about the hunger and the homelessness of black people in the United Kingdom. Let's not even talk about the disenfranchisement and the police brutality against African people in the United Kingdom. Let's not talk about the miseducation of African youth in the United Kingdom, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. This is the equivalent of the American African celebrating the 4th of July. This is the equivalent of the American African celebrating the 4th of July. This is the equivalent of the American African celebrating the 4th of July. On July 4th, 1776, when Thomas Jefferson issued the Declaration of Independence. A man who owned hundreds of Africans. A man who owned hundreds of Africans. When they read the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776 from Independence Hall, right here in Philadelphia, right here in Philadelphia. I was born less than 10 minutes away from Independence Hall. I was born less than 10 minutes away from Independence Hall, but I was born on the anniversary of the Nat Turner War. I was born less than 10 minutes away from American white supremacy's birthplace, but I was born on the anniversary of Nat Turner's revolution. While they read the Declaration of Independence, while they read the Declaration of Independence right here in Philadelphia, millions of Africans were being enslaved. Millions of Africans were being dehumanized. Millions of Africans were being oppressed. 
But yet on July 4th, you can find Negroes in every city in America. You cannot go to a city in America on July 4th. You cannot go to a city in America on July the 4th and not find Negroes celebrating the independence of their slave master. You cannot go to a city in America on July 4th and not find some Negroes celebrating the independence of their slave master. And you wonder why we are in the condition we are in. A people without honor have no right to be treated as equals. A people without honor have no right to be treated as equals. A people who will not respect themselves, a people who will not respect their ancestors, a people who will not respect the struggle that they have had to endure to get where they are, have no right to be free. As far as Dell Curry, as far as Dell Curry goes, I was watching the game last night, and it appears that Dell Curry showed up with the snow bunny to his son's basketball game. Now, the Curry family personal business is none of my business. I simply hope, because I don't want to rush the conclusions. I simply hope, because I don't want to rush the conclusions. I respect Del Curry. He was a good father to his sons. I understand that there may have been a divorce or a separation between him and his wife. That's none of my business. But what is my business, Mr. Curry? What is my business, Mr. Curry? Is black men showing off white women in other black women's faces in public. What you do in your house is none of my business. What you do in your home is none of my business. But when I see a famous black man, Mr. Dale Curry, and I'm not disrespecting you, sir, but the cameras last night couldn't keep the camera off you and the snow bunny. They wanted Dr. Umar to see. Shout out to the NBA videographers. Because ever since I exposed the snow bunny crisis amongst black celebrities, the videographers have been helping me catch you runaway slaves. Ever since I exposed the snow bunny crisis, the NBA videographers have been helping me catch you runaway slaves with your snow bunnies in public. You left a beautiful black woman. It's not my place to even speculate on your divorce. It's none of my business. But how dare you, sir? How dare you? Come to your son's game at the NBA Finals with a snow bunny. You shouldn't have done that, Mr. Curry. I'm not condemning you. I'm not throwing you under the bus, sir. I'm simply saying it's a bad look for a man in your position to leave, to have ended a marriage. I'm not blaming you for the marriage. I don't know. That's none of my business. I'm simply saying that you were in a marriage with a black woman. And we now see you in public with a white woman. You were married to a black woman. I understand y'all may have had to se separate for mutually agreed upon reasons. I am not getting in your marriage business. I'm simply saying that it is not a good look for you to be seen at your son's game hugging up on that snow bunny. Now, let me add a disclaimer. That could have been Dell Curry's co-worker. It could have been Dell Curry's neighbor. It could have been 
Dale Curry's massage therapist. It could have been Dale Curry's accountant. It could have been his banker, his insurance agent. I want to add a disclaimer because I have no proof that that white woman was his snow bunny. But I did see you hug her a couple of times. It could have been an innocent platonic hug. I don't know. But by the looks of it, it appeared to be intimate. So for these last three games of the NBA Finals, Mr. Curry, for the sake of the self-esteem of all black girls, and for the sake of the respect that we as black men owe the black woman, I'm going to ask you, sir, to not hug up on any white women while the television cameras are on you. But I digress. I digress. No disrespect to Mr. Curry at all. No disrespect to Mr. Curry. He made a bad decision. We all make bad decisions. And I'm just asking my good brother to not make that bad decision again to be caught in public hugging up on a gallon of ice cream. That's all I'm asking. Brothers and sisters, please support the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Brothers and sisters, please support the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy. Please hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Please hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Please hit your cash app and help us finish the renovations on the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. For my international Africans, please hit your PayPal. For my international Africans, please hit your PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Dr. Umar needs your help for the shockumentary. I need to raise some money for the shockumentary. We will be filming next month. Please become a donor. $100 sponsor for the shockumentary is basic level. $250 sponsor for the shockumentary is intermediate level. And $500 sponsorship for the shockumentary earns you the elite level sponsorship. Elite level sponsors will get their own private screening and Q&A. They will be the first to see the shockumentary when it is completed later this year. I repeat, $500 one-time sponsorship donation will get you a private dinner movie preview and a personal Q&A with Dr. Umar. Intermediate level, you will also get a private screening and you will also get the Q&A with Dr. Umar. But the elite level sponsors will get a certificate that they can hang on their wall that shows they sponsored for $500 the most anticipated and important documentary on the school to prison pipeline of the 21st century. For those of you who can afford to be an elite level sponsor at $500 for the documentary of the millennium, if you can't afford to be an intermediate sponsor at $250 for the documentary of the millennium or $500 elite sponsor, for the documentary of the millennium, you can be a $100 sponsor for the documentary of the millennium. And the $100 sponsors, you will also get a private screening, but you don't get the certificate, you don't get the autographed hoodie or the autographed DVD. But all of you, whether you are a basic documentary sponsor at $100 or an intermediate documentary sponsor at $250, or an elite level sponsor of the documentary at $500, your name will be on the credits. Your name will be on the credits for the most anticipated and the most powerful school to prison pipeline documentary ever made. Make your documentary sponsorship payment to Dr. Umar's cash app, dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson, for my international Africans, you can make your shockumentary sponsorship one-time donation payment on my PayPal. My PayPal is paypal.me slash Umar the Psychologist. PayPal.me 
slash Umar the Psychologist, paypal.me slash Umar the Psychologist. American Africans, you can use Zelle to make your one-time documentary sponsorship donation payment by using my cell number for Zelle, 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858 is my cell number. That is also the number you can use for your Zelle sponsorship documentary donation payment. Or you can use my cash app, dollar sign D-R-U-M-A-R Johnson, or my PayPal. I'm hoping some of you will choose to be a basic level documentary sponsor at $100. I'm hoping some of you will agree to be a $250 documentary sponsor at the intermediate level. And I'm hoping some of you will agree to be a $500 elite level sponsor for the shockumentary. Brothers and sisters, do not celebrate July the 4th. My European Africans and my Caribbean Africans do not insult our ancestors. Do not insult the struggle of African people by celebrating the Queen Elizabeth's said 70th anniversary Platinum Jubilee. It is disrespectful to who we are. It is disrespectful to our revolutionary heritage and it is disrespectful to our ancestors. Charlotte, North Carolina, I will see you Saturday, June 18th at the House of Africa for the Juneteenth celebration. Charlotte, North Carolina, I will see you on Saturday, June the 18th from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. I speak at three o'clock at the House of Africa for Juneteenth next Saturday. South Carolina, I will see you next Sunday. June 19th, HBCU Benedict College Stadium. HBCU Benedict College Stadium, Columbia, South Carolina, Sunday, June the 19th, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. I speak at 3 o'clock in Charlotte, North Carolina. I speak at 3 o'clock on in Columbia, South Carolina. I speak at 3 o'clock in Charlotte, North Carolina, Saturday for Juneteenth. And I speak at three o'clock in Columbia, South Carolina for Juneteenth. Duncanville, Texas, a suburb of Dallas. Duncanville, Texas, a suburb of Dallas. Duncanville, Texas, a suburb of Dallas. I speak in Duncanville at the Holistic Health Festival at three o'clock. I speak in Duncanville, June 26th, Sunday, June 26th, Duncanville, Texas, Holistic Health Festival, 3 o'clock. Get your tickets on Eventbrite. Waldorf, Maryland, Southern Maryland. I will see you September the 18th. I will see all of you at the FDMG Festival on Saturday, September the 10th. I will see my Chicago Africans at the International Festival of the Arts on Labor Day. September the 5th. I will see my Chicago Africans at the International Festival of the Arts on Monday, September the 5th. Toledo, Ohio. I am making my first ever visit to Toledo, Ohio this summer. Mobile, Alabama. We had to change the date. The mayor of Pritchard Got a little nervous about allowing me to speak at your Juneteenth celebration. The mayor of Pritchard, Alabama, got a little nervous about letting me speak at the Juneteenth celebration. So I'm going to do a lecture in Mobile, Alabama. We're working on that right now. To my British Africans, my United Kingdom Africans, my Luton Africans, my Manchester Africans, my Wolverhampton Africans, my Bristol Africans. I will be coming to England in October. Don't forget Nat Turner land, August the 21st. Don't forget Nat Turner land, August the 21st. Donate to FDMG, donate to the Shockumentary, support black women, support black men, support the black family, and let's support African independence. This is your brother, King Kong Consciousness, signing out. Peace in Pan-Africanism. Peace in Pan-Africanism. 
peace and pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism by any means necessary.